Hello Pisces! Welcome to your reading for the second half of April 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much for joining me. So keep in mind guys that this is a general reading, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. I am channeling a lot of energy for a ton of different people, okay? So if, if I'm not describing the situation exactly how it fits for you, that's okay. If you're resonating with it, just Place the energies where they fit for you, and please don't try to force anything to fit. Again, if it resonates with you, keep it. If it doesn't resonate, just let it go, okay? I am available for private readings. Um, all of the readings that I uh, offer in the description box below are um, can be applied to any sort of situation that you would like greater clarity on. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship, twin flame, soulmate, whatever. Um, it really can be applied to anything you want greater clarity on. All right, so let's get into this, Pisces. All right, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, riding, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Pisces for this time period of April 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Pisces, what have we got for you? <laughs> Now, I don't remember exactly what happened in the beginning of the month for you, but I still, for some reason, I feel like it was fairly good, yeah? I really, I tend to only really remember the ones that are pretty traumatic. Um, if you're having a good time of it, it's just the message comes out and I kind of tend to forget what I was talking about. So let's see what comes up for you now, Pisces. I do feel like I want to shuffle for a little bit for you guys. So bear with me here. Pisces. Huh. Okay. All right. Cool. One more shuffle for you, Pisces. Hmm. I'm seeing, I'm, I'm seeing a green light for you guys. Um, healing maybe maybe your your heart chakra maybe you're in the process of opening up your heart chakra that's always beautiful all right uh your overall energy pisces yeah we have the four of cups so i see a lot of you are really starting to go within sometimes the the four of cups a lot of the time people will say it's um unrequited love it's um an offer being neglected, rejected, taking something or someone for granted. But recently when the Four of Cups has been coming up for me for in the re in readings lately for me it's been feeling like some sort of meditative moment. Um taking some time to stop and meditate on a situation before you take a take that fourth cup that's being offered to you in whatever form that is whether that be a relationship, business um uh, a business relationship uh, a romantic relationship, a friendship, a partnership of some sort, whatever. Whatever that fourth cup represents to you that's currently being handed to you, you're taking some time to really connect with the... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Connect with the significance of it for you so that when you do take that cup, you can do some justice towards it, yeah? And I think that's where the heart or the green, the heart chakra, the green energy is coming from because you're really connecting with your heart to understand the situation in a greater sense. We have the world. We also have the prince or the pay, I'm sorry, the knight of pentacles in reverse. And we have justice. So, um, yeah, so the, 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 the Prince of Pentacles or the Knight of Pentacles um, is making me think of uh, Twin Flame situations because the Divine Masculine really has been showing up as the um, Knight of Pentacles for some time. Uh, slow moving, methodical, um, master blueprinter, master planner. Um, mm, what I'm picking up here is either some of you Pisces are really like taking a moment to understand, <clears throat> like say if your divine masculine really has not been um, returning the love you've been giving him 
um, or her. Um, <clears throat> when I say, uh, I'll just say this, when I say him in relation, in, refer in reference to the divine masculine, um, and when I say her in, re in reference to the divine feminine, it has nothing to do with gender. I'm just speaking to the energetic uh, value of those um, individuals. But for you, Pisces, some of you may be, you know, looking back on, you know, how you've been giving and giving love and not receiving anything back with the Knight of Pentacles or the Prince of Pentacles in reverse. So now you're kind of like, you're kind of putting an end to that situation for yourself and bringing justice to yourself in the form of not necessarily giving in, giving to someone that's really not going to return from, return it to you. You're, you're in the process of learning this lesson and putting this stage to rest. If you are in a twin flame relationship and you're resonating with this aspect of it, please understand I'm being guided to remind you that this is not the end of the situation as a whole. This is an end to an unhealthy form version, uh, uh, a codependent um, version of this situation for you. Um, in other cases, there are some of you Pisces, now I'm speaking to the Divine Masculine here, there are some of you Pisces that have realized just how stagnant, how much you've been refusing to move at all. And with the world and justice here, um, you are putting that to an end as well, potentially. If you're not doing it now, you are in the contemplative process with the Four of Cups, the meditative process um, of understanding the emotional reality around why you have been resistant to movement. And so now that's, that's coming to an end for you because there are realizations are coming out because of that. So let's get into the storyline for you, Pisces. We are starting off with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse with the Hermit. Um, so I, uh, this is for some divine feminines out there. Um, you know, I feel like there were some of you that felt like you were good. You, you know, you were independent. You were strong. You didn't, I, I don't need nobody, blah, blah, blah. But then you started to realize just how codependent you have been. Um, the hermit is saying to me that you kind of started to go within and all of these things started to come up for you and you started to see, I'm interested in seeing if the six of pentacles comes up for you, Pisces, but you started to see the imbalance between give and take. You started to see just how codependent you still were. And I, let me tell you, I went through that period um, not too long ago. I thought I was good. Like I have, I'm, I'm very much in, a, in an abundant nine of pentacles in independent state. But at the same time, on an emotional level, there was still a quite a bit of codependency that I was exhibiting. Um, and most of that came out, came to the surface through me walking this path on a twin flame journey. And that's exactly what this journey is meant for. So if you when if you are coming to this realization, kudos to you. Congratulations. This is another step up in the process. You're leveling up here in a sense. So that's very, very good. Um, and to be quite honest, have this I feel like having this illumination, this greater illumination within your independence, within your your um your uh stability is an insane blessing to you is what I just heard. I guess you were saying that on an energetic level. You may not necessarily see it right now in the physical form, but on an energetic level, this is an insane blessing for you. And speaking from experience here, anything that can help pull you, any sort of experience or lesson that you can learn to help pull you out of codependent tendencies is one of the most beautiful things ever because it gives you the space to get, take your power back, right, Pisces? Like to take your power back and not, to not let anyone control or manipulate you into doing what it is you know you don't wanna be doing anymore, right? Moving forward, we have, ah, look at that, the devil in reverse. I really like to see the devil in reverse here, why? Because this codependent shit, this codependent bullshit, we will call it, is being released. And that is with the King of Cups, yes. Yes, yes, yes. You are releasing your um, attachment to someone that is emotionally manipulative or emotionally closed off or emotionally unavailable, maybe even emotionally immature, even though they're showing up as a king of cups. This could also be symbolizing you, Pisces, 
in the sense that those divine masculines that I was speaking to about understanding how emotionally unavailable you were, well, now you're coming to terms with why and you're releasing that attachment to that representation of yourself. And I, I will say, I'm picking up that a lot of that has to do with societal conditioning as a masculine energy, because apparently we are taught that masculine energies are supposed to be X, Y, and Z and uh, feminine energies are supposed to be D, E, and F, you know what I mean? So it's like, no, we're coming out of that now. We're starting to realize that that does not have to define us, so we're going to go our own way now. Bye, I'll see you on the flip side, <laughs> you know, it's that kind of energy. So this is very, very good for you, Pisces. This could even be, well, no, I already said that. Okay, moving on. We have the Five of Swords in reverse. Excellent. Another, another good thing I like to see here, especially with the Five of Swords. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? We've got temperance on top of that. So now this is on both sides, Pisces. Okay. This is all around for you, whether this is you or this is someone else that you're dealing with, or maybe even a circumstance, a situation that you're dealing with. Greater balance is being brought to the situation. And as a result, five of swords energy is being released, released, uh, lose, lose energies, combative, destructive, fighting for the sake of fighting, machismo, bravado, um, the twisted masculine uh, view of uh, dominance and control. These things are being released and it's such a beautiful thing. I swear to God, if I never see the five, well, no, never mind. <laughs> I'm going to stop myself there because, uh, because the five of swords in reverse doesn't always necessarily mean that something is being released. However, in this situation, it does. So good on you. Temperance is being brought to the situation. In relation to twin flame situations, temperance is bringing greater balance between you and your, your divine partner and within yourself as well, which is allowing you to have this moment of meditation and realization so that you can release these attachments to codependency and whatnot. Yeah, that's woo -woo, Pisces. I love it. Moving forward, we have the Queen of Pentacles with the hangman in reverse. So divine feminines, I'm going to speak to you here for a second. Um, and this is at, this absolutely has to do with this nine of pentacles in reverse. Um, the, the hermit is helping you gain this control and this stability and this balance so that you can show up as the queen of pentacles. And you can come out of this suspension res uh, resembled uh, or represented by the hanged man in reverse. You are stepping out of this hanged man um, suspended, um, even isolating energy and stepping into your divine feminine power. For divine masculines that are resonating with that, you are resonating with that because you are coming to terms with your feminine energy. Everybody has masculine and feminine energies. Just because you identify as a divine masculine doesn't mean you don't have femininity rolling around in you. Just because I, do, I, I identify with a divine feminine doesn't mean I don't, I don't have masculine energies rolling around within me as well. So if you're resonating with that divine masculine, please know that it is an absolutely beautiful thing because you are coming to terms with your own femininity and you're starting to root that in stability in honor, in grace, in integrity, in respect, um, in uh, knowledge and intellect, in logic. I mean, I could go on. It's just, yeah, it's such a beautiful thing. All right, moving forward for you, Pisces, we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. Okay, so we do have the counterparts here, but this, again, right off the bat, is talking about what we were talking about here with the Devil and the King of Cups in reverse. It's this twisted masculine view of um, society, especially with this Five of Swords in reverse, yeah? This is coupled with the Princess of Swords in reverse. We're not fighting anymore. We're not looking at things from a um, basic or immature intellectual point of view, our, uh, uh, I'm saying our, I'm not a Pisces, but I'm just connecting with the energies. And we're all one really, so like whatever, I'm gonna say our, cause we're, <laughs> cause we're all connected. But, um, and quite frankly, the, the, what we do to heal not only affects like our twins, say if you're in a twin flame relationship, but it also affects the energies of everyone around you. Whether you really, uh, you know this person, or whether you're just like standing next to some random person and you have some epiphany, some aha moment that really changes your vibration. Well, that change in your vibration will resonate with the people around you that are, um, um, sympathetic to it. Okay. I really don't know where that came from. 
<laughs> but it needed to come out. Um, but it is in relation to what we're saying here. Um, Pisces, for you, there is a, a release of ego. There is an expansion of mindset. There is an expansion of ideas. And there is growth happening, surrounding, coming out of this um, reversed, egotistical, um, very materialistic view of masculine energy. Okay, that's... Oh, yeah, that is so fantastic. Moving forward, Pisces, we have the Eight of Swords, okay, with um, <laughs> with the Knight of Cups. Okay, I was like, where are we going with this? Uh, we were doing so well, and now we've got the Eight of Swords. But look, um, some of you, Pisces, are, in, um, are caught up in your head, are feeling trapped. Um, someone wants to reach out and send a message of love, but they feel like they can't. Either this is the Divine Masculine, um, and and you, Divine Masculine, are, are feeling trapped, feeling stuck, because you want to move forward with this love that you feel, whether it's for uh, for your Divine Feminine, or if we're just talking, on, talking soulmates here, somebody wants to reach out, but they feel like they can't, they feel like they're trapped. But my attention, as I say that, my attention is being brought to temperance here because temperance is reaching out and saying, just be patient, okay? Just take some more time to allow to allow these energies to, um, to coalesce, to allow some of the dust to settle a little bit because there is a big change happening, to allow yourself to really settle into this new vibration so that you can figure out a way to bring this love forward with the Knight of Cups, okay? I know that says Prince of Cups, but in this deck, the Prince is the Knight, the Princess is the Page, okay? And I find it interesting that the the Knight of Cups is falling under the King of Cups in reverse. So Pisces, this very well may be you, and I'm picking up that this is a lot of the Divine Masculines out there, but there also could be some Divine Feminines out there that are feeling this energy, this entrapment. Because of the fact that the Divine Feminine wants to reach out and communicate too, wants to share her love with her Divine Masculine. So um, both of you are kind of in this state where it's like, you, aw, I, I'm literally seeing it right in front of me. You two are like almost like in a cage and trying individual cages, facing each other, trying to reach out to each other, but you really just can't. And the thing about it is you're not, in, you're not trapped um, by force. You just may, you feel like you're trapped right now. You feel like you can't get out of it, but you can get out of it. The key to getting out of it, and this is why temperance was coming forward. The key to getting out of it is time. Uh, it, well, time is an illusion, but patience and just allowing the process to unfold. Okay. But you can do whatever you can right now to release yourself from this egoic point of view of being trapped because you're not. Okay, there are just things that are changing right now that just need to settle in before any sort of real action forward can take place. Moving on, we have all the gifted in reverse. I'm sorry, the all gifted in reverse and the moon. Okay, so the the all gifted is a, uh, a unique card in this deck. It is um, an extra card. It, this is a, a representation of Pandora and her box. And what this talks about is, um, you know, being aware of your gifts and wanting to share it with the world, being aware of who you are and living that truth in the world. When it's negatively, uh, when it's reversed or negative, negatively aspected, it's being afraid of yourself, um, hiding your gifts from the world, being afraid to share your gifts for fear of vulnerability in essence. And with that, we have the moon. Okay, so Pisces, there is a situation here in which you feel like you have something to give to the world, but you're afraid of it. You're afraid of taking that step. Um, for some, for the twins, I'm going to go back to twin flame situations for the moment. This very much is speaking to divine feminines that need to start working on their spiritual path, on um, you know serving their divine mission. This is also talking to divine masculines that are doing that, but that need to start doing that. But um, the biggest thing that's coming forward for me is for divine feminines. Um, you have some sort of fear. There's something that you can't really see too clearly about the situation and it's keeping you from moving forward with that. 
And I'm here to tell you that the moon is also saying that it's really, there's nothing to fear. It's not as bad as you think. You may not be able to see as clearly as you may want to in this situation, but ultimately it's time to move. It's time to get going. It's time to start doing this, Pisces. Um, you don't have to see everything. Everything doesn't have to be illuminated for you to start taking action. Why? Because what can see in the dark? Honestly, think about this and answer the, see if you can, can, can answer this question. Look at this card here. And if you can't see with your physical eyes in the dark, what can you see with in the dark? Your internal eye, your intuition. Right? So, in that sense, and Pisces, you are a very intuitive being. One of the most intuitive ones out of the whole zodiac. Okay? The water signs really have a good connection with their intuition. But even out of the water signs, Pisces, you are one of the, you are the strongest of the three when it comes to intuition. So, there's nothing to fear. If you know you're being pulled in a certain direction, and actually, temperance. Um, is saying this to you too. If you know you're being pulled in a certain direction, just go with it. You don't, everything doesn't have to be illuminated crystal clear for you to at least start taking steps. And these could be baby steps, you know? A step forward is still a step forward. It's still a step forward that's bringing you closer to what you ultimately want, okay? So you don't have to be afraid. Just get moving. It's time to start moving. All right, Pisces? Finally, in your storyline, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse with Eight of Cups. Okay, so I really do see you leaving behind this fear of whatever it is you want to be doing in your life. Also, overall, this is... Um, uh, give me a second here. Overall... <laughs> This is just a confirmation of walking away from something. I really feel like with the Ten of Swords in reverse, this wasn't a situation in which you were done with the situation and now you were moving on. You were done with the situation on an energetic level, but on a physical level, you were still doing it over and over and over. And so the Ten of Swords energy, this realization and this ready to move on to the Ace of Swords with a brand new idea, um, has been stagnant, has been stuck. You've been in this cycle of just being in the living in the Ten of Swords energy as if that's all that, that it doesn't get any better. That's all there is to it. But no, there really isn't all there is to it. There is something more beyond this. And now you're starting to move in that direction. That's excellent, Pisces. I mean, it may not, it may not look like that's a good ending to it, to the situation, but actually it really is because you're walking away from. You're finally walking away from the situation that has kept you in this Ten of Swords energy. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And again, you're walking away, well, not again, but also you're walking away in abundance with the Eight, okay? You are abundant, Pisces. You're realizing just how abundant you are. And we started the reading off with that because you were in a Nine of Pentacles reverse situation in which you were acting through you or someone else was acting from a place of codependency and, um, you know, uh, a, feel, fear, a feeling of lack, um, uh, a disconnection from abundance. But here with the Eight of Cups upright at the end of your reading, moving forward, you are realizing just how abundant you are and you're moving forward with it. And that's beautiful, Pisces. That's really, really beautiful. I'm very happy for you. So this, yeah, this turned out to be a very good reading for you, Pisces. Um, I hope you got something out of it. I hope it was helpful for you. Um, thank you for joining me uh, in, uh, in this reading. Um, and I look forward to connecting with you guys for the beginning of May. Yeah, take care. Much love to you. Bye.